All right, you two, we about to chop this all off. How long you been growing your hair, bro? Three years. Three years. Three solid years. So what we gonna do, we gonna chop it with scissors first and then take like a four or five, go with the grain. He wants to get his waves back and then we gonna do a low taper. Let's get to it. What's good everybody, my name's Four. Welcome to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button and drop a like on the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people. So we're gonna start this cut off just by freely snipping. There's no technique to this. As you can see, I'm just snipping away. Um, I do recommend, just be careful of their ears. You don't wanna cut the client in their ears, but other than that, just freely snip away. I didn't wanna cut it down with a guard just yet, uh, I just feel like it would snag too much. Even though his curls aren't too tight, they are very luscious. They're very thick. So I'm just cutting it down with some scissors. Cutting down a lot of the bulk before we go in with our clippers. Now I'm going to go with my five just to be safe. And I already knew it was going to be pretty wavy because he has curls. And what are waves? Waves are pretty much just laid down curls. So I'm just going with the grain of his hair before I wash his hair. And you just want to be careful of any light spots. I only cut his hair one time before, so I kind of know how his hair grows near his taper area. But I'm going with the grain and you just, I'm kind of avoiding the crown area until after I wash it. And I'm just following the natural pattern that his hair is laying down in pretty much. It's, it's not too complicated. It's pretty simple. Now we're going to wash his hair. And what I'm doing with this is I'm just stripping his hair of all the, the grease and the dirt that may have been under the curls. I'm not saying his hair was dirty or anything, but when you, that's three years of hair growth. So you want to give him a fresh wash. And what's important after this is to add that conditioner back into their hair that moisture back into their hair that's very important when you wash someone's hair always condition it too so to start the taper as you can see we just set our bald line we're going to do like a mid taper i know i said a low taper i meant to say a mid taper and we took our five guard and then our four guard and we're just debulking a little bit just to prep that taper area and the taper is going to be pretty simple so i'm taking my jrls and i'm going up about an inch right here and right under that, I just erased it, going halfway and then close. And then I'm doing the same thing with my one guard right here. And instead of skipping up like I usually do, I just drop back down to my wall, 0 0.5. And then I grab my three guard. And with the three, we're just setting it up for the two guard so that I can erase this line with the two pretty much, as you can see I'm doing here. But I'm not digging in, I'm kind of like flicking up and using my corners. Then I grab my 1.5 Babyliss guard, and then I grab my one. And it's really simple, especially with this texture, it's very, very simple. So for the detail work, we're gonna use our thinning shears, and we're just thinning some of those thick areas out. And as you can see, it's that simple. It's really straight to the point. A taper shouldn't take you no longer than five minutes on each side, if that. Now, if you notice his beard, it's a completely different texture than his hair. So that's kind of his beard. It's it isn't as dense. Like you could see the individual hair follicles and the way they grow on his beard. So we have to make sure it's really blended out. I went ahead and just lined the seek up up before we did the hairline, just so I could visualize how the final result of the taper was going to come out. Um, this can just help you visualize the haircut better. I also do the around the ear area too. This just helps me get a better picture of the final result of how the haircut's gonna look. So for the back, we're gonna bring the taper up pretty high and we're gonna do the same steps, but in a different order. So I'm gonna go with my one guard first and I'm gonna go up about an inch and a half with my lever fully open. Then I'm just gonna thin it out with my thinning shears, just so I don't have to use a super, super high guard. This is the highest guard we're gonna use, the, the four on the back taper. 
and then I grab my three. Each guard prepares the hair for the next guard. So after my three, you guessed it, we grab our two. But with the two, you just gotta be careful. The two is a very tricky guard. If you go up too much, you will patch the hair. So I just recommend digging in at first and then flicking out towards the, towards the top. After the two, grab your 1.5, do the same thing, but notice how I'm using my corners to achieve, to erase that guideline actually. And now we're gonna drop back down and go up about an inch with our lever open and then grab our one, go close. Cause remember we did it open. And after the one close, grab your 0 0.5 guard. And I like to start with my lever halfway and then close it and then open it as I work my way up. And the final step of the back taper is to close your lever with your most zero gap clippers and erase that guideline by opening your lever up as you move up gradually. You always want to make sure this back taper is as blurry as possible, always. And as you can see, blended. So to prep the lineup around his ear, what I like to do with his texture is I just clip over Coleman. It saves time and it's not going to be choppy. You clip over comb, you have control and you can, you know, control the amount of hair you're taking off. For the lineup around the ear, it's pretty simple. Just, um, you gotta remember, this hair is pretty straight, you know, when it's short. So you gotta cut it accordingly. It's not like African-American hair. So as you can see, his lineup is very, very tricky. He has a full hairline, but it's all bangs. So it's kind of like an illusion lineup. And he likes his bangs thick, but the shape up is hard because that side that I'm doing right now is easy. But this side right here, as you can see, the hair near his vertical bars kind of grows backwards. So it's hard to get that naturally sharp. And sometimes you just can't get a perfect line on someone. You just can't. He's one of those people, especially in this corner area right here. I couldn't get that, that angle right. And the first time I noticed this was the first time I cut his hair. So. I'm sure if I never cut his hair prior to this, I would be tripping out. But since I did, I'm not bugging. It's just how his hair is. So as you can see, we sprayed our enhancements. Shout out Tomb 45. I used the darkest brown color. And for this texture, sometimes you just got to spray the enhancements where you want the lineup and then comb the hair down. The hair is going to move. It's inevitable. The hair is going to move. Um, after the enhancements, you always want to reline it just so that one, the enhancements are locked into place and two, the hair matches up to where the enhancements are. For the beard, he just wanted a quick, natural line. Nothing too crazy, nothing too, too sharp. Now, under his beard, we did make this pretty sharp. I, I always consult with my client where they want the line at, the beard line. I recommend you guys do the same. Always ask your client. Some like it high, right near the jawline. Some like it super, super low. And some like it in that perfect median area. I feel like this is like the perfect median area, right above the Adam's apple. And we're gonna freehand trim the top of his hair. This side for the lineup was difficult too. The hair just wasn't cooperating. So it was very difficult. And as you can see, the beard, Although it doesn't look fully faded, it is. It's just because of the density. So this is how my client came in. And this is how he's leaving the studio. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Just so that YouTube can recommend my vids more. It's four. I'm out. Peace.